smoking. And what about you? I mean, you know, I quit. You know what I'm saying? Almost. Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of our Stool Entertainment, doing another GTA 5 video. Like Red Dead Redemption 2, I'm going to not really do main story missions. I will be doing stranger missions. And they're usually multi part, and you have to get these done as part of 100% of the game. And. Well, again, if you want to get 100% of the game, you have to do stranger missions. In this case, Franklin meets uh, ex-girlfriend uh, person called Tanya, who is obviously, well, a, a crack person. And she enlists Franklin's help through pity to help his cousin and the towing business. Now, if you do this and you do all the missions, you will have available to Franklin the towing business that he can purchase, which again is necessary for 100% of the game. And you can make money on the business. It's four parts. And I'll show you each part. It's relatively easy. The only real problem is possibly getting the car disconnected from the tow vehicle. So let's get on with pulling favors. So when a real woman can show you a good thing. What the fuck is wrong with you, Tanya? Ain't nothing wrong with me, nigga. Shit. Well, your ass don't look too good. Where the fuck is JV? Smoking. And what about you? I mean, you know, I quit. You know what I'm saying? Almost. Yeah, whatever. JB, look, JB gonna lose everything. He gonna lose the house, you know what I'm saying, the business, everything, and you his cousin, nigga, you said you was gonna he help. He ain't my cousin. Whatever, if that's how you feel. What the fuck do I know about touring cars? Look, it's easy. If JB can do it, you can do it for fuck's sake. Come on, I'ma show you. Come on, shit. All right, then. Shit. Shit, she win everything. Hey, look, let's make this quick. I got shit to do. Nigga, you need to slow it down. Tanisha was right. Now, there is some banter between Franklin and Tanya. Tanya and Franklin grew up together, and, well, there's hints they had a relationship. I'm going to fast forward to where they get to the tow yard, plus I can't play any background music because YouTube has gotten real strict. Now that Franklin and Tanya get to the tow yard, they will enter and Franklin has to wait for Tanya. Tanya will talk to the dispatcher and Franklin will drive the truck. Now, like I said, I can't really play the audio because there is some background music. So I'm going to fast forward the um, journey to picking up the car. Now we've arrived at the location of the car. All you got to do is get in front of the car, lower the crane and hook into the car and raise it and you tow the car back to the destination. The biggest problem is traffic can interfere and you could technically lose the car and it gets detached from the crane. You can see it's just swaying back and forth. It's not really very stable. I'm going to fast forward to the tow site because I really didn't have any issues with this tow. Once you get to the tow site, you pull the truck in and you drop it off in the red zone by just simply pressing the D-pad down or the main pad to the left or wait, looks like right. Anyway, now you've completed the mission. And you can kind of go up to Tanya after the mission 
and she will be calling someone or talking to someone. She might even leave if she's afraid of you. Oh, so now you want to pick up. I got Franklin to do that job for you. Franklin Clinton? Who do you think, JB? As stated, it's multiple parts, so let's get on with the second pulling favors, which would be still pulling favors part of this stranger mission. Time. Do you ever clean your raggedy bitch ass up? Fuck you, Lamar. I mean, Franklin or whatever. Everybody on the block knows you gonna vine wood and shit. Well, shit, if going vine wood means I ain't hitting the pipe like 1992, then shit, I'm guilty as charged. Punk ass. What? Bitch ass. Excuse me? <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, but where's your love for the hood? JB ain't doing good. He needs help. We need your help, nigga. We gonna lose everything. All right. Shit. What do I gotta do? Same as before, boo. A little help with the tow truck. Nothing for a real man like you. All right. You just get yourself together. Your ass done went crazy. Okay, it's called pulling another favor. And you go to the tow truck. In this case, it's a little more complicated to tow the vehicle. Not problematic, but a little more complicated. Once you arrive at the tow lot, you get out, get into the truck. Tanya gets in with you, talks to the dispatcher. And, well, yeah, you got to wait for Tanya. She really drags things out. But I'll fast forward to where you pick up the next vehicle. The complexity comes in with lining up the tow truck and fighting traffic at times. So once you get it lined up with the back of the vehicle that you need to tow, you can then hook up, raise the crane, and yeah, I'm moving things around a little bit to get it lined up better. And once you hook up, you raise the crane and you can tow the car to the impound lot. I didn't have any problems with this tow. I almost lost the vehicle, but I didn't. And so I'm going to fast forward to the impound lot. And of course, once you get to the impound lot, you drop off the vehicle. And Tanya will leave, and you can kind of try and talk to her. These missions get a little more complex in distance. They're not timed, so you can get to the take your time. But again, they're not really timed. So let's get on with the next mission, I think. Well, I'll see what Tanya has to say. JB again can't get his shit together. I don't know why I don't kick that man to the curb. Useless, don't even do it justice. <laughs> oh, what's good with you anyway? The third mission, you'll get a text from Tanya to call. And once you connect with her, she kind of goes off and explains what's going on. Mother. What's going on now? JB. Niggas gone AWOL, baby. I don't know what to do. Is he ever not AWOL? He's bad, Franklin. Got his claws in deep this time. They're on to him, leaving messages, saying he gonna get cut. You ain't gonna let a sister starve. Look, man, I'm not gonna let that happen, all right? Now leave it with me. Now you gotta go to the tow truck lot and uh, continue to do somebody else's job. So I'm just going to fast forward to where the tow truck is, and we will start the next mission. Now, in this case, you are on your own with no Tanya, and you have to answer the dispatcher. 
on your own. And this is actually a little more complex mission, but there's a very easy way to handle it. And hopefully you don't get someone killed in the process. Now, the easiest way to handle this, push the stalled car off the track, back up, let the train pass, and then hook up the car and tow it to the uh, station. And, yeah, hopefully the guy doesn't get run over by the train. For some reason, the train is antagonistic. You see that red dot there? That's not good. But like I said, just push the tr car off the track. Then you can worry about hooking up, picking it up, and taking it back to the service station. And you'll get an earful from the guy. He's kind of a douche to begin with, but who cares? Now that you've picked up the car, you got to kind of turn around and bring it back to the, or bring it to the auto repair. And this is the fun part. You get to keep the tow truck, which makes the next mission a little easier from Tanya. Now, once you drop the vehicle off, you actually get to keep the tow vehicle, which will help you out in the next mission. But once you get it, I'm um, being a little picky here, but once you drop the vehicle off, you call Tanya to let her know that the vehicle has been dropped off and you have completed the mission. The guy gets out and now you will call Tanya to let her know. Tell JB I did his work for him again. I will boo as soon as he wakes up. Again, you get to keep the tow truck. And mission passed, pulling favors again. You will then get contacted by Tanya to do another mission. Sound messed up. Now nah, I kicked the pipe. JB too. For real this time. Can you cover one more job, boo? Just till he get out of the sickness. Ah damn it. Okay, last time. If you keep the tow truck and go do something else like I did at ammunition, shooting guns and improving my or Franklin's aim, etc. Uh, you don't have to go get the tow truck. You just get in the tow truck and you can begin this one last mission. Oh, and this mission is timed. You have five minutes to hook the truck, to get to the car, hook it up. And once you hook it up, you got to tow it back. It's timed. Now, this is relatively easy to pick up, but I made a minor mistake. And, well, the car owner, once he gets in, he starts jawing your ear off, and he's kind of a douche. The mistake I made was trying to turn around instead of going straight, which, yeah. I shouldn't have done that. At some point, I do lose the car, so I'm going to fast forward to that situation. It's not timed to get back to the repair place. It's only timed to get to this guy. I didn't lose the vehicle, so I'm going to pull it back to this repair place. Once you drop this customer off, you will have to give Tanya a call, and it'll be a little more interesting and different from the previous conversation.
again, you call her. Franklin, what's cracking? Not your ass, I hope. I covered that job, all right? Now stay off the rock. You feel me? I'm high on life now, baby. It's a new dawn. And now on to the final mission of pulling favors and Tanya. Tanya will be at her regular place by the liquor store, and Franklin will just drive up to her, and this final mission will activate, and it's more complicated than the other missions. Yeah. You ain't cleaned yourself up yet, Tanya? What the fuck is wrong with you? You said it was all good on the phone the other day. I was, and you know, I did. I was clean. That's why you didn't really see me around for a bit, but... JV, man, the smoking is real bad. Real, real bad. I had a few days. But you ain't clean now. Exactly, okay? And now your ass gonna lose every fucking thing unless I help you, right? I heard this shit before. JB ain't doing so good. JB ain't well. JB's your cousin. He ain't my fucking cousin. Look, your mama smoked, nigga. You know what it's like. Don't you have a heart? I don't have much of a heart. But by doing this, I don't have much of a brain either. I love you, Franklin. I mean, I don't know what you want me to say. JB appreciate all you doing. Just one more job with me. And I promise this is going to be the last time. It better be. Now bring your ass on. Come on. Actually, we get a real tiny bit of insight into Franklin's life and why he is living with his aunt. Apparently, his mother smoked crack and, well, ended up uh, basically abandoning Franklin. And so he's living with his mom. And Tanya, well... She loves Franklin, plays him. Yeah, she's just a crack um, person. And now this final mission is going to require a little more finesse than the previous missions. He is. If he went his ass to work, that'll be a start. I show me how good you got since last time. Now, I'm naturally going to have to fast forward through to the main accident because there is background music and YouTube is really bad about certain things, which I don't understand. My GTA 4 videos, even my 5 videos had plenty of background music, but lately they've been really picky. Now this one is a bad accident and the people pull away in an ambulance and now you got to try and tow this vehicle somehow and get it through heavy traffic without losing the vehicle, which I unfortunately end up doing because it's a real, real pain to try and turn around. It's not timed, so my suggestion is if you're heading in an opposite direction, don't bother to try and turn around. Just get the truck going straight. Yeah, this is stupid. I don't know why I'm doing this. And yeah, I'm trying to bring the vehicle around instead of just going straight and rerouting the path. And I get all these stupid people blocking me and then they just sit there and it's like come on come on come on go 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 yeah and i lose the vehicle and i gotta reattach it so now i got these bunch of idiots causing issues and i'm not really gonna bother to try and be delicate here I'm just going to push them out of the way and get the vehicle and get the truck reattached in some way. And this moron just, yeah, drives right into the vehicle I'm trying to tow. 
yeah, this is going to be a whole, whole, whole lot of fun. Finally, I got the opportunity to get the vehicle reattached, hooked up, and now we are on our way. This is the repair facility you're supposed to drop it off at, which is actually going to be Trevor's garage where he stores vehicles once he gets into uh, Los Santos. And now you got to drive Tanya back to the impound lot. You solid, Franklin. Thanks again, baby. Don't be a stranger. Funny, she runs away like she never seen Franklin before. She would just stand there and yammer. Well, that's it for this mission, and you need to do these missions in order to get 100% if your goal is to get 100%, which is what I'm playing for on this playthrough with GTA 5, and now I'm going to wait for Tanya's phone call, and that should be coming shortly. She will tell you the impound lot, the towing lot, is for sale, and you have to buy that as part of 100%. You have to buy all the properties. Ah, flight school is available. I'm going to get Franklin his pilot's license now, because, again, getting a pilot's license for one of the characters is part of 100%. And Tanya is calling. The ass is no. I can't haul at my boy now. Thought you might want to know, being a high roller and all, they finally put the towing company up for sale. You know the business can make you some good paper. And you can keep JB on as a driver when he gets his head straight. Shit, I think about it. That's less than 30 seconds, so I hope it falls under fair usage, the background music, but I digress. This is the garage Franklin can buy to store his vehicles in. 30000 and Franklin has the money because of the jewelry store heist. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, I make four a week. And you can hit the subscribe button and bell icon to stay informed. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, and most of all, thanks for stopping by.